Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days and to Christmas in July. Sing it. I'm dreaming of a what? Yeah, never mind. Okay, so it's July. It's hot. It's sticky. It's humid. But we're going to bring you things that you can make now or plan to make during the holidays so that the holidays are extra special for you and yours. This is my contribution. Please be sure to check out all of the phenomenal channels that are in the description box below that are also participating in this. And I'll put Jenny's uh, playlist also down below so that you can go check out any videos that you may have missed. Absolutely fantabulous collaboration. Super excited to be part of it. I hope that you guys are enjoying everything that all the channels are bringing to you. Thank you, Jenny Goff, for including me in this collaboration. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yeah, so I'm sure you saw. I'm sure you saw by the title, Coffee and Cream Brownies. I mean, does it get any better than this? No, it does not. So there is going to be a link down below where you can go print off this recipe on the blog. Okay, so you can check that out there, but I'm going to run you through the ingredients for the brownies first. And then when we're done with that, we'll start making the frosting. Frosting, yeah, okay. So you're gonna need three ounces of Nestle Toll House Espresso baking chips. Hello, yeah, three ounces. So that is a third, that is a third of this bag. If you haven't tried these yet, oh my gosh, you don't know what you're missing. These are insanely good, crazy good. Then you need a half a cup or one stick of butter, two large eggs, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste, whichever one, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour. Let's get this show on the road. Everybody has favorite things that they like making at the holidays for family and friends and that kind of thing. And once you try these, if you've got brownie lovers, if you've got coffee brownie lovers, <laughs> okay, they're going to love you for this. They really are. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut up the butter and we're gonna put it in with the chocolate. Now, then it goes in the microwave. You set it for 10 seconds and you keep repeating until the chocolate is melted and glossy from all of the melted butter. So we're gonna do that and be right back. That took just under a minute, okay? And we're just gonna set this aside now because we're gonna be adding that later, but give it a little stir. Mix up the chocolate and the butter. Is that like the perfect combination? Okay, it's really close. Basically, chocolate goes with everything, except liverwurst. Don't do that. That would be wrong. Okay, so now we are going to get our mixer going. Ho, 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 ho. In our mixer, we're going to put the eggs and the sugar and the vanilla. Yes, we are. And we're going to get that all, come on, we're going to get that all mixed up. Let go. There we go. <laughs> it's not going to let go. Okay, so we're going to get that all mixed up. You know, nice creamy sugar is good. It's good. Okay, so whoop, get that back up here. Shells are not good in a brownie. No, they're not. Okay, so now we're going to add the sugar. Sorry, I'm clunking everything, it seems. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so here's my... Yep, that's a teaspoon. Probably not, but you know. That's what the recipe calls for. I tend to be a little heavy-handed when it comes to my vanilla. Okay. Now that that is all well mixed in, okay, we're going to add the butter and the chocolate to this. We're going to have it mixing, so I turned it off for a second. We're going to have it mixing so that all of these ingredients get mixed well together. Okay, so now we're going to mix the uh, the flour and the baking soda, okay, um, together, and then we're going to mix that in with this bowl.
Okay, so I'm going to stop it for just a sec. I'm going to scrape down the sides. I want to make sure to get all of that goodness in there, right? Okay. Does, see how, I mean, it didn't take very long at all to get that incorporated. Come on, get off there. Super simple. Okay. We're going to mix it for a little bit. just like that our batter is done okay you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees well that's all going on okay I've got some lard here and that's what we use to grease our our baking dishes but use whatever you've got if you've got Crisco if you've got lard if you've got spray you know grease whatever um, do whatever you do but you want to make sure that that is nicely coated Okay, don't miss any spots because you don't want any of that brownie stuff sticking. No, you don't. No, you don't. And now we are going to take this. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I tested the paddle. <laughs> okay, this is amazing. You have to. As the cook, you have to test it, right? Okay, so we are going to scoop this out into the baking dish. And I'm using a, I think it's an 8x8. Eight Square baking dish, okay. We're gonna get all of this out into here. Scrape that bowl as clean as we can. Aren't spatulas like the greatest invention ever? Unless you're a kid who is used to being able to lick the bowl. Then it takes the fun out of licking the bowl. Unless you have a really cool baker that you're working with, right? Okay, so just kind of do your thing. Spread that out as evenly as you can. As you can see, it's a nice, nice thick batter. These are gonna be amazing. Okay, try to make that as even as you can. And then once the oven is heated up, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lick the spatula. I'm really not. Okay, um, then we'll put it in the oven and we will bake it. Yes, we will. And that time is in the link below <laughs> okay so next I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and we are going to make the frosting okay so while the brownies are in the oven we're going to make up the frosting this is the cream part it's so so good what you need is a cup of sugar a cup of heavy whipping cream an eight ounce brick of cream cheese and this secret ingredient right here Anthony's espresso baking powder this here will change your chocolate loving life. It absolutely will. Espresso enhances chocolate flavor. It says it right there, but I'm telling you, it really, really, really does. It is so good. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of that into the frosting also. Okay, let's get this started. It helps if the cream cheese is a little warm, which of course I didn't do. kind of broken up I'm gonna swap it out for the whip I cannot begin to tell you how good this smells. This smells so good. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Okay, so we're gonna push it down from the sides, just cause, just cause, basically just cause I wanna taste the spatula. Mmm, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, I seriously may oh. never make frosting any other way. Mmm.
so good. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're going to let this cool down. And I have left the frosting out, covered it. Left the frosting out because I want it to be soft. I don't want to have to fight it. So we're going to let this cool down for a bit. And then we will frost it. Okay, truth be told, I would love to take it out of this. But I'm not certain that I can without breaking it up. So I'll wait to take it out of here after it's frosted. So I've got my frosting. Oh, you guys. I'm telling you, this frosting will change your life. Okay? And we've let it sit out because I don't want it to be cold and hard when I'm putting the frosting on the brownies. And so we are going to frost this very well. Sorry, you can hear Phil's phone in the back. Nice layer of frosting on it. And then we are going to let it sit. And then after dinner, I will cut up some pieces and Phil and the grandson can give it a try and give you their thoughts on how good it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now you can double and triple this recipe to fit your recipe, you know, to fit your baking dishes. Not a problem there. I just make it small, but so, so good. And you know what's nice about this frosting is, you know, most cream cheese and sugar frostings or cream cheese frostings are super sweet. I mean, like they overtake, you know, the, the flavor. And this one really does not. So that's why I'm being kind of liberal with applying it. Okay. So, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. The cook gets to lick the spoon. Okay. We'll be back after dinner. So tonight we have dual taste testers. We have my meatball and we have Phil. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. You ready? Okay, go ahead. Dig in. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How do you like that frosting? Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> good stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should make these more often. Mm -hmm. How do you, cookie, it's, it's coffee and cream. Do you get the coffee and cream flavor? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Very much so. Very much so? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. You know I'm taking the rest of these to work. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, everyone. So, these are a hit. They're so good. I just know that you, your family, and everyone that you gift these to will absolutely love them. If you have one of those Pampered Chef individual brownie things, you know, this would be epic. I would double the recipe for that pan, um, and that would make it easier to frost also. But good stuff, totally good stuff. <laughs> and, and they've both already demolished both their brownies. These are going to work. I am going to bring these to my coworkers tomorrow. Okay, I'm leaving... I'm leaving a couple behind for these guys <laughs> to get them through the day tomorrow. So, coffee and cream brownies. You will not regret them. They are amazing. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to check out all the channels down below for Christmas in July. Hello. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guys say ho, ho, ho? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, until next time, everybody, please be safe.